Hey guys, welcome back. So today I created a kind of goldeny, glowy, kind of bronzy look. These are my absolute favorite looks. As you all know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love to glow, I love to be bronze. So I decided to do a kind of bronzy, goldeny eye to pair with it. So once again, I did use Makeup Geek eyeshadows and ColourPop eyeshadows for this eyeshadow look. So super, super inexpensive. So if you would like to see how I created this look, then just just keep watching. So starting off the makeup look, I am just taking my Murad primer. I have been obsessed with this primer. I had it in my April favorites video in case you were interested to hear more about it. And then going in with my MAC um, foundation and this um, just like rose golden kind of face oil. And I'm just mixing the two to give myself a nice light coverage. I didn't want to go full heavy coverage this day. So I'm just dotting it all over my face. I mixed it on the back of my hand and then just going in with my dampened contour sponge just to blend it all into my face. All right, and then for my brows, I'm going in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown, and then I will be going in with the Dip Brow to kind of fill it in. I just like to outline it with this just because it makes a nice line. And then I'm just going in with the Soft Brown Dip Brow with just an angled brush that you can get at Anastasia as well. And then starting for my eyes, I am going in with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC in this rose golden little brush to put it on my eyelids, and then I do set it with a powder. Going into eyeshadows, this is the Makeup Geek Peach the eyeshadow. It is just a very light transition shade and I am just using it on my crease and upper crease with an E40 brush from Sigma. I do build this color up because I want it to be a little bit more dark than it actually is so I do put it on a couple of times and then going into the color creme brulee also by Makeup Geek on the same brush. I'm just putting it in kind of the exact same spot except a little lower. These eyeshadows that I'm using by Makeup Geek are staples in my collection. I use them in almost every single look just because they're such amazing like transition shades and I absolutely love them. Next going in with the color Frappe on a Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm just focusing this more into the crease area and I do want to make sure that I'm going to go back in with my blending brush, my big one right here, just to make sure that all of the edges are well blended. And I did go back in with just a little bit of creme brulee to make sure it was blended. And then going in with this ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Blaze. These apply best with your finger and I'm just putting it all over my eyelid. After I have it in the areas that I like it, I like to take a nice stiff blending brush just to kind of blend away the harsh edges. Now I do go back in a couple of times to make sure that this shadow is pigmented, but I do want to make sure that the edges are nice and seamless and kind of gradiently going into those brown shades. So I do put it on a couple of times. And then on the center of my lid, I wanted to go in with something gold. So I'm going in with the Kathleen Lights eyeshadow as well. For my brow bone, I decided not to go in with anything too shimmery, so I went with a more sheeny kind of eyeshadow. This is Nylon by MAC, one of my all-time favorite brow bone highlights. And then just giving myself a few coats of mascara with the Benefit Roller Lash. And then for eyelashes, I am using the Queen Bee Eyelashes by The Style Coco Lashes. I am obsessed with these lashes. I use them all the time. I need to order more. I only have like one pair left, which is so sad. But these are like my favorite because they are so super long and they just make my eyes look like doll eyes. And I love it. All right, going in with my concealer, I am just going in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer and blending it in with my Dampened Contour Sponge. And I didn't use this in like a V shape that I normally do because I just wanted to cover up those dark circles. And then I'm going to go with the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette to kind of highlight and contour. So just going in with the darker shade and I'm just using this to cream contour, putting it on all of the outer perimeter of my face, underneath my cheekbones and so on and so forth, and then just blending it up into my cheekbones. You never want to blend down, you're just going to start looking muddy. So I'm making sure to blend down with my contour sponge, just making sure everything is nicely blended. And then I will go in with the kind of highlighter shade and I will put it everywhere that I want to be more highlighted and more brought forward. So I'm just putting this on with an SL Glam um, Beauty Brush and then I'll be blending it in with a clean contour sponge because at first I used my dirty one and it got all dark underneath my eyes. So I went and got a clean one and just blended it all out.
And then to set the concealer, I'm going in with my Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. I heard that she was coming out with individuals for these shades. Does anybody know if that's true? Let me know down below if you do know, because I need more of this banana shade, like now. <laughs> and then for setting the rest of my face, I'm going with my Makeup Forever uh, HD Translucent Powder. And then to set my bronzer, I am going to go back into that Shade Light Palette with my Morphe 527 Bronzer Brush and just go right over the places that I had cream contoured. Going back into the eyes, I'm just taking that frappe color that we used in the deepest part of our crease right underneath my lower lashes with just a pencil brush. And then I'm going to be picking up the color Blaze, the one that we put all over the lid with the same pencil brush and just putting it all the way from inner corner all the way to outer corner just to give that little bit of shimmer. And then taking that Kathleen Knight's color and just putting it on the very center part of the lower lash line just like we did on the top. So since I wanted to be extra glowy today, I went in with my Milani Glow Bronzer. It just gives such a beautiful sheen to the face, and I absolutely love it. And then sticking with the bronze theme, I decided to go in with more of a bronze-colored blush, and I decided to pick up Harmony from MAC. It is one of my all-time favorite shades. It's just very bronzy, and it's matte, but I absolutely love it. And then for highlighter, I'm going in with my Anastasia So Hollywood Highlighter, and I'm just using it on this Zoeva Fan Brush. I love this brush. And then I also do put this highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes. And then for lips, I'm going in with my MAC Spice Lip Liner. I am lining my lips and then I also am going to be filling them completely in with this as well. And then I am taking Dose of Color Sand Liquid Lipstick, just putting it kind of on the center parts of my lip. And then I'm going to take a lip brush and kind of blend it all together. All right, guys, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just love really glowy, bronzy looks. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.